Hi there. I wanted to give you a quick overview of uh, getting started with Pixay 0.1.0. So I've downloaded the package here, as you can see, and I'll open that up. And why don't we just start by running some of the samples first to get that going. So I'll open up the button demo and just double click the project. And uh, you should be able to basically just click around. You can double check that maybe um, for this example that you have an iPad simulator selected. Click run and Pixay, Pixay is already configured here. And there you go. Click that, and here what you'll see is as you click these colors, the, um, the CSS has changed, which styles these buttons. So you can take a that, look at that source code later. So let's close that one and go on to the next one, Shape Demo. Shape Demo loads a series of SVG vector files and then shows you, you um, how to basically display those using the Pixay Core Graphics Engine. So you can see here you can just swipe, and then you can actually click on the image to see the uh, the outline drawing of it since these are all being drawn these aren't um, these aren't images and finally the third demo we include for now is the simple button demo which just shows how to take a couple of uh, simple buttons and style them with CSS kind of a good starting point as it's all ready to go and, and configured and there you go two different buttons and this one even has a graphic a vector graphic uh, as an icon there so why don't we start with, um, now we've seen these three samples, why don't we create our own sample? So I'll just say new project, and we'll start with a single view application. And I'll just walk you through the same kinds of thing that the getting started guide does. So I'll call this sample button. I'll just use an iPhone, automatic reference counting. Uh, we'll just put that in there. There you go, so I'll open the interface. Let's just drag a button in there. Let's call that my first Pixate button. And we'll have to give it an ID so we can then style it with CSS and know how to reference it. So we'll call it style ID is what it needs to be called. And it's a string. And then we'll just give this a name. Let's call this my button. And that's it. So why don't we add a CSS file? So we'll just say new file, go to iOS, other, select empty and then let's call it default.css. So Pixay will automatically load a CSS file called default.css. And since we called it my button, we'll do that. And we'll say background, let's make it red. And why don't we give it a border color of yellow. And how about a border width of how about, uh, I don't know, three points and a corner radius, that's how rounded it is, uh, let's call it eight points. Okay, and that's it. So before we can actually run, we have to make sure we've added Pixate into the project. So there's just two things you have to do there. Number one, go into your target here, build settings, and make sure you have all selected, not basic, there's not enough there. Go to all and then type just other link. You see other linker flags, double click here, and we just need to add one flag that tells that Tells the compiler we're using some Objective-C stuff, in our case, categories. So just dash OBJ capital C. And that's it. Go to build phases, and we need to add, besides our library, we also need to add core text, because Pixate knows how to style text as well. So you need to add core text to your project if it's not already in there. And finally, to add Pixate itself, all you need to do is I go back to where I downloaded, grab the PX Engine framework folder, and just drag it right into your frameworks. Uh, folder of your project. You can copy it or not, it's up to you. So hit finish, uh, and that's it. So we'll do iPhone simulator and click run. And there you go. There's our button styled with Pixate. Now that's not the prettiest style, so let's just change a few things. I don't know. Let's make the background, um, what do we make the background yellow? And let's make the border, um, how about black? just so we can change it. So I'll just click run again. And there you go. Now you've seen the styling of a button. So experiment, please, and uh, try styling your own app or try altering or taking a look at some of the samples and uh, give us as much feedback as possible. Thank you.